Alright guys, it's Benny2595 and welcome to another inclusion of my Mode Monday series and as you can tell I'm playing Kill Confirmed on the map Overwatch and this is, it's up there in my opinion, I must say it's up there with some of my, my favourite maps on this game. There's not a lot of maps that I enjoy in this game but this is definitely up there alongside for instance Oasis which is probably still uh, still my favourite map I must um I must say, but yeah, what I'm going to show you straight from the, the get-go, this isn't the actual mob streak, I've sort of cut this video into two segments, so when I die I'll show the show you the uh, the mob streak, but what I'm doing uh, instantly, when you spawn on the bottom left side of West Flank, which I'm at at the minute, every time I rush to this box and just ADS down that centre, because they're, uh, the enemy team are obviously spawning on the opposite side, which is East Flank, near the crane, and... Um, in this situation there's only the one guy that appears down there but usually there's a whole bunch of people that rush as this this is like for instance the other spawn that they'd get um, and what I tend to do is just run down there see if I can pick anyone off and then as soon as it sort of dies down I instantly go prone slightly to the left of that little box because what they'll tend to do is rush underneath the circle which is that tunnel area which unfortunately I can't really demonstrate because no one happened to have been there but no doubt in future commentaries I'll point that out when it when it proves to um proves to be effective and what you see now is my actual mob streak and what I thought I'd bring you in this sort of commentary is like a bit of a, a few tips for this map because whenever this map, we don't actually play this map um, whenever I do play this game it's usually the Oasis that I've been absolutely playing the most out of all the maps that I, I do get on Modern Warfare 3 at the minute but whenever this map has been up in the past there is a control sort of power position that I would highly recommend that you stay around and sort of control and can I just point out here this is this is a tip be smart when you're playing the game I, I've, I picked up a UMP45 at some point and I knew there were two guys in that little sort of room area uh, by the way I'm on a patio I believe it's called right now which is like the um, I think it's the air flag if you were playing domination so I knew there were the and so I switched to my SMG because SMGs are better in close range combat than, for instance, an assault rifle. The ACR that I've got, ACR 6.8. So, you know, I use my. I won't even say it's intelligence, it's just common sense. And, like, little things like that, you need to be aware of when to. Um, I get a bit lucky here. You need to be aware of when to control your engagements because the little things like that is what can make the difference between you actually dropping a mob and you actually failing on. A one, two, or even a nineteen gun streak. If you uh, if you get what I mean. So yeah, you gotta you gotta play smart. Like for instance, now I'm not running back into cover. I'm I'm you know I'm swaying from side to side using stalker, abusing the fuck out of stalker. Um, but you know it's little things like that. You you have to play intelligently. In fact, another thing I have to point out as well is I'm playing with a full party. Well, minus one, I think. Uh, the guys I'm playing with are. Of the usual Kraken 420, which is AK Hattori Handle 420. I'm playing with uh, the Merc, uh, Chris Katera, and Slim 463. I'll put the relevant links in the description below. And <laughs> this gameplay is pretty. Well, I won't say special, but it's. It, it brings back a few sort of good memories. And the reason being is. Up until this point, I think this this is an old gameplay. This was actually in March, and the reason I remember this is Chris Katera was actually recording uh, this gameplay, so the audio and things, and it was, it was I think it was during one of our Sunday sort of Sunday sessions, which we've not actually had in a while, guys. So if Chris and Slim, if you're watching this, we need to get on that. Um, and oh my God, when these new maps came out, I think it was Liberation, Piazza, and Overwatch. I hadn't had a mob on any of them. And but like I said, this was around March time. I think early March. Uh, don't hold me to that. And the, oh, I had a catalog of about I think I've still got them to be honest. Of like eighteen to twenty gameplays where I've literally died two. I think three is the most off, but two one-off mobs. Oh, it was just so sort of demoralising. And this is the game that I finally break that streak. And the reason I'm mentioning this is as soon as this was like I said, this was a Sunday night that we were playing. And I actually dropped two mobs, I think, within a space of, I don't know, 40 minutes of each other. Um, and Chris Couture actually made the video because he gets my reaction. <laughs> he gets my reaction to this and to the other one. Uh, so what I'll do, I'll leave a link in the description to that video because that video was fantastic. He, he literally did it as soon as, I think, after the session, the gaming session was over, he had it rendered and uploaded. And it was it's a fantastic video. Definitely go watch it. I thought it was funny as hell. So what I'll do, I'll leave a link in the description to that, and 
Yeah, and oh, there we go. I get the mob. So, ah, I don't know what else to, to say, seeing that the gameplay is sort of winding down. Uh, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll give you this last little bit of advice as well, which Crackoon sort of. I have to give Crackoon credit as the as a Merc just sprays a lot of love bullets into my face. Thank you, Merc. I appreciate it. Rocking the Gimp clan. <laughs> but um, when we first sort of started playing this map, I would always go around, I think it's Supply, which is, like I said, we're on Patio now. Supply is at the C flag, which is completely the other end of the flag. And um, I was having a bit of luck sometimes, again, get dying one or two off a mob a lot of the times. And what I'd find is the spawn system was just terrible on this map. Like, if you pushed, if you sit and wait around Patio, and you push too far up, they'll instantly spawn behind you. And it's just, it's, it's retarded. It really is retarded. You cannot have faith. You can't just, um, you can't trust the spawn system in this game. That's what you, you got to constantly be aware of that. It's, you got to play it as if it's free for all, because they spawn everywhere. And what I was having trouble with is, you know, finding out where the enemy team were. And then it was actually Kraken who just said, you know what, I'm just going to man a, a Dom. And from there on, we both started working as a team. He sort of tended to, dominate or control the right hand side which was like that east flank side that I spoke about earlier and I would control more the left hand side which you sort of saw in this gameplay here. and it just seems to work and what I tend to do is put a motion sensor straight around that patio area so it covers as much as west flank as possible and he would do the equivalent which would be on the other side and if you're working as a team it would literally be as easy as your top, bottom, left, right and it's that simple and you can basically pick them off as they come to you uh, I mean it's a it's an easy map to get a mob on I've got a few on it now uh, I'll wait because I think the next mob like my collection is actually the the next mob I got which is Type 95 but I think I'll sort of mix it up in the next episode for you guys so you'll have to wait and see that mob in uh, probably two or three weeks down the line what I'll do I'll mix it up a bit but uh, that's today's commentary over, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know what you thought, and hope you have a great day. Take care. Peace.